What's up, everybody? Crypto Muscle. Oh, yeah. The big bad booty daddy. Oh, yes. The, the biggest icon in the space today. Because sometimes it's good to be bad. I don't know. I just keep it real. Because that's what it's all about. Just keeping it real out there. But I got some news for you guys today. Come to you with another YouTube video. Oh yeah, let's look at the market starting to uh, most for the mo most part looking like it's turning green again, and uh, you know just kind of looking at some of these uh, prices here like uh, Bitcoin's on its way back up, Ethereum same thing, like a Binance coin, 66% back up, and what else is going on here? Let's see, let's see, Uniswap on its way back up. And lastly, of course, I got a smash on the Tron here. Still under five cents. All right. Uh, let me see here. Let's bring out this piece of shit for giggle. I haven't talked about it in a while. But yeah, this trash that bloods out there say, "Hodl for the future, hodl for the future." But yet it's uh, yeah, not even close to a penny. I mean, it's a long ways off to being a penny here. And so, yes, hodl. Hodl for the future. <laughs> and come back in five years, and it's still going to be worthless trash. But that's Apollo for you, right? How can this start mass adoption if Bitcoin is barely mass adopted right now as we speak? Just throwing it out there, a rhetorical question to ask. Because it's been put out there that, oh, it's going to trigger mass adoption just because supposedly a country is going to adopt it. But, yeah. And let's talk about this shit coin. Let me make sure I refresh the price here. Three cents. Ooh. And, uh, you know, don't bust me up when they say, oh, if you watch Facebook Live, the Oracle mentions the target will get smashed. So if that's anything to go by, it'll be interesting week ahead. Talking about how 25 cents is the target price of this shit coin uh, by the end of the month by Darren Bradbury. And it's funny, in this group, they're so twisted and so, like, in up everybody's asses in this group that that they call Darren Bradbury the Oracle. Like, really, that that's... That's an insult to to Oracle. That's an insult to even call Darren Bradbury. I mean, that's just insane. That they they're so twisted and all up in each other's asses, buying each other's. They're they're competing each other to buy up the supply of this piece of shit coin, and it's still only three cents. And not even. I think it wasn't supposed to be 25 cents by March. It was supposed to be, I think, halfway there, at least 13 cents, right? To make everybody whole, if it reaches 25 cents, that's what will make everybody whole. Because uh, if you were in my passive trades. And then speaking of piece of shit, let's go take a look at, uh, here's another piece of shit, but it's a segue to this other piece of shit right here. This right here. Uh, Impulse X, right? So with Eureka, Polaris Group, Impulse X, Eureka Exchange, they're going to be releasing additional shit coins to sell, like the Credit Cleaner, which they already released. But they're going to have it on an, like a, an exchange to buy, almost like an IEO type of thing. And yeah, and then of course you have the Impulse X uh, tokens that they are selling as well. Plus they're doing like a 10 million Impulse X token slash coin giveaway i mean that's a that's a lot of shit coins they're throwing around out there and selling and trying to just push that shitty eureka coin price up but it's not doing a thing and they're opening up tons of offices in china because they're really thinking that china's the market to push eureka but still it's yet gone nowhere in this bull run just saying just throwing it out there and plus you know, they're, they're trying to push the sale of this uh, token. I mean, pretty soon, instead of like a BTC in, BTC out type of thing, 
they're going to make you. And I mean, of course, you could take other uh, methods of payment received, such as uh, I think they talked about. You could take Eureka coins, get paid in Eureka. You get paid in ETH, Tron, whatever like that, right? Other coins. Pretty soon, they're going to force you to take Impulse X coins, which are going to be worthless. And then what? So just saying. So as we segue into other shit out there, let's look at bankroll at Banker X. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is now down to 20 cents. Man, how can it get any worse than this? It's just getting closer to zero. That's how much worse it's going to get. Man, Banker X. I mean, people were talking about it just over a month ago. Oh, man, it's going to be $10. It's going to be this. It's going to be that. And people are, are buying, right? People are buying, you know, dollar cost average. Come on, guys. It's dollar cost average. Dollar cost average. You know, and they always make up excuses that you buy down on the dips, especially shit coins, and that way you could dollar cost average or even out. But what if the price doesn't go back up? You got to think about that, you know. That's why you don't buy shit coins. And so we move on. Uh, this is one of my favorites to talk about because it's trash. And let's see here. Wow, a little bit of a bump here. 205, okay. That's it, right? That's not going to go anywhere. I mean, it's still, when you think about it, 205 for two, so it's two trons per div. When it was supposedly, remember this, guys, this is where it's supposed to be. All right, I'm going to pull up this right here. This is round one pre-sale. Round two pre-sale, round three never sold out, round four definitely never sold out, and then launch price never even touched launch price because the dev sold out. So that's trash for you. Dev sold out. Man, the, the, the chat, Telegram chat has been so dead for the past two weeks now, uh, about a week and a half, almost two weeks. Going into this weekend, it'll be about two weeks of just dead chat. No one's talking, nowhere to be seen, the, the creator. He was real dev, but he's not even a real dev, you know. So uh, he probably he was probably one of the man. It's just so dead quiet in there. Supposedly marketing's coming soon that no one's ever heard of, and no one's ever will, and all these other things. But this piece of shit, no one even cares to talk about anymore. You'll you'll have those uh, admin YouTubers. Uh, there are YouTubers talk about it just to throw it out there, just to say, hey, I did my thing, you know. But there's other shit to talk about besides this piece of shit. And I'm the only one that talks about it, but really, you know, I give it publicity because I'm just trying to tell you guys, stay away from this shit. <laughs> look at this. This is trash. It has never come back. I mean, when you look at it, I mean, the this is where it never came back from up here, all right? So just saying, and so I'm just trying to say, you know, just do be careful with the crypto out there. And let's take a look at another piece of shit here. So it's been kind of hanging down and down and down. So that 40 million was based off of uh, the six cent Tron price because right now Tron is at four cents. So I don't know. I I just think with recent news and events, this one's going to be another downer once again. And I think this particular contract, they have certain elements in it that have sl that could slow down, you know, things like the withdrawals and all that. Because I bet people are wanting to drain out of this crap. So, let's see here. Look at this. It's fallen even less than before with UME, which is associated and tied to Eclipse City. Look at that. I don't think you've ever seen it this low, besides maybe when it first launched. And let's look at EFT. I mean, look at it. It's continuing to fall down, down, and down. Nowhere near the $1,000 that it was, once was, $1,000 plus. It's just sad. But not really. I'm not sad. It's just crazy how this thing continues to go down because no one cares anymore. And so if you're still holding this stuff, you got to get rid of it. Get rid of it before it's over. That's all I'm saying. You gotta, you gotta be careful what you do with your crypto because next thing you know, it's gonna be gone. And so, let's talk about something else here that I came across. So this uh, on passive shit, 
that's been hanging around for three years, taking your $97, and, you know, they keep on saying, it's going to be an amazing thing. Oh, man, it's going to be amazing. You know, all this countless amount of income that's going to be coming into your wallet. Oh, shit, it's going to be an amazing thing. The stuff that you're going to be coming out with. All this product and all this stuff. Three years in the making. And then the first product was recently launched. That's been, I've been seeing pushed out there. And what is it? It is this O Academy type of thing, all right? And they're really trying to push this whole O Academy thing, which is kind of like a Zoom, but with extra stuff in it. This right here, O, o Academy, right? And uh, it's supposed to be like, it's like Zoom, basically. I'm, I'd rather just get Zoom and just take care of it. It's free. But I'm trying to find what was the catch. I'm listening and I'm listening and I'm listening. They said, oh, you could put this out globally. You know, you could have global classrooms, all this stuff, right? People pay to go to these global classrooms. But what if they don't pay? Just asking, just asking. And so I'm trying to find out what the catch is here. How... How how are, are people going to get this so, so-called matrix spillovers and, you know, streamless amount of income coming into your wallet? Because it's supposed to be amazing, right, from o o Academy. And so, of course, you got to pay the founder's fee, $97. And, you know, they've collected over, like, I think I heard the statistic that they collected over $33 million over these last three years. And still, it's like... But how are you going to continue to collect this money, right? That's what I was trying to figure out because $97 is just a founder's fee, or, you know, the, to get in. But what's the catch, right? There has to be a catch. So this whole old academy crap, they're trying to sell you, you know, all this stuff, technology, AI this, AI that, blah, 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 blah. And then there it is. They said it. They said there's going to be a membership fee to O Academy, which is... $200 a month, but they said that it's going to pay itself off because of the amount of people that's going to be going into these classrooms, paying to go to these classes, to go to your personal class to view your stuff. And they said that that's how the money's going to be rolling in to pay your, I guess, spillover. That's how it's going to pay for the fees that you're owed to pay monthly. All right. Two, uh, on passive. And I'm just like, wow, that's crazy. Why would anybody want to pay for that crap? And to me, man, this is the start of what $97 gets you. Man, we're going to be in some trouble for all the all you people out there that's in on passive. So good luck to you guys on that one. See, this is just more trash in the space today. And lastly... I wanted to discuss, since we're on this whole AI stuff, right, and bots, let's talk about trading bots. So I was, talk, I was looking at your boy out there, you know, the, the Kiwi live stream, you know, I was watching it. I, I watch, I like to balance watching good stuff and trash, you know, YouTubers, right? I, I, I like the balance of both. I like watching them all. Even shitty ones like the Singh brothers that talk about how everything's a scam, blah, 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 blah. And then yet... <laughs> We're still collecting money every time. They say everything's a scam. We make the money. That's fine. <laughs> I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. So I was looking at your boy, Tiwi, Kiwi, and he's talking about this manifest FX. I have to look for myself because he talks about all these four different things. He's paying 500 bucks a month that you got to make back. You got to think about it. 500 a month that you got to make back before you could actually profit from it, right? And this is uh, monthly here, but you got to give back 25% of your profit before you can make profit. So it's like any one of these things, you all lose anyways, just being in it. So what's the point of it <laughs> if you are giving back? 25% is a lot to give back. And then this, 500 a month, holy shit. I mean... Just do, just be, do better things with your crypto. So that's all I'm saying. With all this shit stuff that's going on out there, I presented today. I'm just, just saying, you know, just follow the winners out there. We are the winners. We are the winning team, the crypto winning team. But check it out. Links down below. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. But yes, be 
do better than with your crypto. I'll see you in the next one.